All right. This is uh, video log number 84. Time is uh, 9.39 p.m. Wednesday, November 3rd, 2021. And uh, I got to make this quick because uh, I do have to go to bed early tonight. Tomorrow I have to get up. And then I do have a manager meeting tomorrow that I got to do. And actually tonight I got to figure out like a, like a fun little icebreaker team bonding type thing to do over Zoom. So um, I got to do that. But um, apart from that, um, yeah, this is video log number 84. Today worked pretty much all day, slept in, much needed rest. That was good. Um, today, yeah, I mean, can't complain too much about work. I just realized my microphone was down, so I might have not sound sounded super clear, but um, I don't feel like re-recording it. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, what is that over there? Uh, I see, I see, I see. Um, sorry, things uh, popping up. But yeah, work was pretty chill. I uh, got to figure that out tonight. Uh, still preparing for that interview that's upcoming it's not going to be next week it's not going to be until next week friday so the 12th so i got some time and then um i found out today some more things about my school stuff um i checked in it looks like my fafsa is on file i just need to speak to a counselor about it so i need to schedule up that time um i'll see if i could do it this week, maybe I'll, I'll be able to do it tomorrow uh, and, and see what it is. Um, and then I was looking at my classes because um, there are some other students who have early registration and, and so on and so forth. And so far, my chemistry class, there's, I think there was five people enrolled so far. And then my calculus class has the most people with like seven already enrolled and then um i think my sociology class had like eight people already in it um but apart from that it seems it seems like it's looking good it's looking good and then i have to take this like college studies 101 class that one also had like six six or seven people um so yeah actually i need to send a text timeline Um, so yeah, today got me thinking about, um, take on my earrings, got me thinking about, uh, action and how there's a lot of mental states that can be overcome with action. I think I talked about this the other day, counting down from five. But you have to do before you could even change the mental state, even though you think you need to change the mental state before you do. Right? Because it's like, okay, you could tell yourself to work out and you could be ready to work out but if you don't work out, having the mindset to work out doesn't mean anything. So, just doing whatever it is. Got to create as low a fr friction as possible. I kind of want to make a video on that. 
Yes. Uh, I think I have something in mind because, like, like I, I mentioned like a couple, couple nights ago, but oh, here I go yawning again. This my little office space. I need to clean it. I want to minimize it. I want it to be like super clean. And I actually thought of something that I've never thought about before. So like on my right, I have my computer tower and I have these, these drawers. Um, these drawers that basically I use for like little knickknacks and stuff, but I could put the, the computer tower on top of it over here and that would open up this space again but then I'll have drawers that will be easily accessible and then I was like wait if I'm looking to change that and add the drawers then it's like okay how am I gonna move my desk but through the process I'm leading with the lens of changing my environment to be as dis distraction free easy no friction towards anything and that's what I want my workspace to be so if I'm leading in with that that lens maybe I could document that process because that's like the first process in trying to you know build a habit right building a habit or any any type of change you want as least friction as possible you need to change your environment to allow it to be done as easily as possible so you know because i'm also thinking about when i have to study and you know that state i don't want to have to think about getting organized to be able to study i just want to be able to study and have my spaced repetition system already in the in, in the works and like you know my active recall you know binders and like flashcards already re ready you know Anki already set up like I, I I know all the things that I need to do to be as successful as I want to be successful in in the things that I want to you know be successful in but it all comes back to just taking action just doing doing before thinking but yeah but I think that's what I want to do I want to document changing this environment to be as effective and efficient as possible but then okay once that is done then i can move on to the next thing you know making sure workflow and all this other stuff anyways yeah i like that i like that I like I like that because i need to clean the space i should document that process and maybe people can learn from it right um because yeah there's a lot of just 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 things things that need to go but all right well um i'm in that it's 9 48 not bad get this uploaded shortly prepare for my meeting tomorrow morning then uh, try to get to bed early so I can get up. You know, at the time I gotta get up. I gotta get up pretty. Uh, I gotta get up at like five, five, six, probably six. I'll probably get up at six. I get, I get, I could do six. Five is if I really want to be efficient and like, you know. But, but yeah, okay. That's it. That's been today. Let me know how your day was. Mine was pretty good. All right, until the next one, peace.